Hello, welcome to Mango Computer Tuition's video tip sheet on selecting multiple files. There are times in your computer when you might want to move uh, more than one file at a time. Perhaps you want to open them or even burn them to CD. Now the methods we're going to show you work with Windows when you're in My Documents and they work with a lot of other programs if you have to select more than one file. Uh, not all programs, but most. So give it a try. Okay, first thing we'll do is get some files to work with. So we'll click Start, click My Documents, and we'll open up Databases. Okay, now you notice we have a folder in there called Downloaded, and then we have a number of files in here. Now, if we wanted to move these files, the procedure would be, you know, you would select one and you would cut and paste it or move it, whatever you wanted to do. But if we wanted to select more than one file, it's very simple. If the files we want to select are in a row, we click the first file we want, such as Master of Home. We would then hold down the Shift key on the keyboard and click to the last file that we wanted to select in that group. You'll notice all the files are selected. We're just going to click to the side to eliminate the selection. Now, if the files you wanted to select were not in a straight line, but were spread out throughout the open window, you would click the first file that you want. Then you would hold down the CTRL key on your keyboard, go to the next file you want to select, release the CTRL key, then go to the next file that you wanted to select. Once again, hold down the CTRL or control key, and click the next file. Now you've noticed we've selected the three files so they could be moved to another folder. You could right click them and copy them to a CD or you could even open them if you wanted. When you perform the action on any one of them it'll perform it on all of them. This is also great when you want to uh, perhaps change file names. It would change the names of all the files. Or once again remember if you wanted to right click you could open you could scan the files with your antivirus program, or you could send to, use the send to, and send it to your CD burner if you want. So again, we'll just click on the side to deselect the files. Uh, this is a very simple little trick, but it can be a real time saver. I hope this helps in your computing.